Hi guys, it's Brad and today I am back at Amber Performance in Luton and we are doing the biggest install yet. It's going to be the carbon ceramic brakes. So it's our new SDT carbon ceramics and it's a big installation. We've got 440 mil discs on the front, which are 40 wide. So they are the biggest you can get on this car. And we're going with four tens on the rear, which are 38, I believe on the rear wide. So they are big, big boys. Standard Tesla are 410 front and rear. We're going with 440 because we're going to be tracking this car obviously quite a lot, quite hard. And we're going for the world record to next year. Mitch, the lead technician here is going to be helping me get these installed today. And hopefully it'll only take four or five hours because all of the kit is complete. We've got the calipers, we've got the discs, we've got the braided lines, We've got the performance brake fluid, we've got everything. So let's get started. Okay, so Mitch, how you doing, my friend? I'm good, how are you? Good, my brother. So good. what's the plan? Uh, well, we're going to fit the carbon ceramic brakes. Yep. We probably start with the rear because we've got the handbrake spot caliper as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got to have remove all the old stuff. Yep. Get the bracket on, mm -hmm. disc, mount the handbrake caliper, mount the brake caliper. Yep. Uh, and then run all the lines and stuff like that, and then we do the front and then bleed it all all together. Okay, great. And you've had a chance to have a look at the kit? Yes. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the kit looks amazing. I mean, you can tell it's high quality stuff. Mm -hmm. The the brackets and all that stuff, all billet stuff. And yeah. It, it looks strong and yeah. Fantastic. Looks, and yeah. How, how long do you reckon it's going to take us to install it today? Four or five hours. Four or five hours. That's not yeah. so bad. That's not so bad. Yeah, and then obviously the bleeding at the end can take a little while. Yeah, these are quite well known for being a bit of a pain to bleed. So. Yeah, because it's got the, you have to go into like the menu and the service and then you have to tell it to bleed and yeah. it runs it itself. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. a little bit of a pain in the butt, but hopefully we'll get it done. So yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're ready, let's get cracking. Let's do it. Cool. Right. Okay. So we've got the kit off and what do you think about the original kit from uh, Tesla, Mitch? Um, <laughs> Not great, is it really? Starting with a rear caliper, I mean, I was very shocked that I thought this was a big caliper yeah. and it's really not. It's, it's a normal, normal caliper with a cover on it to make it look like a big boy. So that was a bit of a shock. Yeah. The overall condition of the discs, they're, they're quite scored. Mm. Um, they're super heavy compared they're, to they're those very heavy. Ramps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. a real chunk of metal there and this looks like it's quite quite worn and it looks like yeah, same with the pads as well yeah it looks so, like it's already had a lot of heat go through it and obviously the car's not even been doing any track work yet so and these are brembo original parts it would appear yeah so same factory is where the uh sdt stuff is actually made and what about the front caliper what are we saying about that front caliper they're not too bad to be honest mm. um again the same with the friction on the pad and what's is that the front disc yeah that's the front disc. yeah um so yeah, I mean, you can see the way they've worn isn't great, to be honest. Yeah, um, and actually the pad itself, I don't know if you can get one out to have a look at, you can see that's actually gone quite rusty as well. So yeah. the amount of metallic material it's got in there, obviously is... I mean, obviously these are only four pots as well. Yeah, the of course. The ones that we're putting on are 10, ten, ten, ten pots. on the front and six on the rear, I think. Yeah, so you're gonna get a lot, a lot better even braking. Yeah, a lot more braking power for sure. And these are, again, it's all it's all Brembo, but yeah, this is just, this is not gonna be sufficient for that kind of power and that kind of weight no. really, is it? Oh, and that's... I, I, don't, I don't know how Tesla think that you can run brakes like this on a car. Because you've taken me out in the car and it's... Yeah, it's quick. It's fast. It's powerful. I mean, we had it on the dyno, that was in the previous episode and the car's pulling, you know, 1100, 1100 horsepower, 1200 yeah. horsepower, I think, when it's in its optimal conditions and, yeah. and temperature. So to have 2200 kilos of car and only uh, these types of brakes is, yeah, it's Mental. not great. Mental. And then what about this here? So this is the rear heat shield um, oh, that we've okay. had to cut Dust shield, off. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, because it wouldn't fit on there, obviously. Yeah, with obviously a much the bigger brakes are, are bigger, so yeah. Yeah, because that would have been what, like that, would have sat in the middle like that. And obviously, because we've upgraded and gone to a much bigger disc, it's that, not, yeah, it's not going to work. But that's fine because it'll add extra airflow. So that's, that's really cool. We knew the Tesla kit original stuff wasn't going to be great. And yeah, it's not fantastic. And it does look like it's had a bit of a beating already. So good to get the new stuff on. So nice. let's get back to the car. Hello. 
No. All right, so the rears are on. What do you think? They look the part. Yeah. They definitely look the part. And um, uh, how long does it take to install? Uh, the rears took about two, two and a half hours, I'll say. Yeah, I'd say that's um, about right. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was a bit complicated trying to work out how the bracket went on. True. But once- Figure that out. You figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> the way it um, went, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty easy to be fair. So yeah, not too bad to install at all. Everything's all talked up and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, and uh, it looks really, really good. I'm uh, excited to see how well these work. I mean, from a brief test from in the car, they feel really, really good. They feel really strong. So yeah, installation was very, very straightforward and everything seems to work well. So what about the fronts? Fronts as well. Pretty straightforward. I mean, these are daddies. They are big. Absolutely. They are very, I mean, very big. I'm, I'm six foot one, yeah? I'm standing up tall. Look at the size of these things compared to me. I mean, they're half my, like, Almost my whole torso. <laughs> they are proper massive, but wow. And they're thick as well. Yeah, and these so. discs are super, super thick. Can we even turn this while we've got... Look at the size of that. You can see. That's a really, really thick disc. I mean, it's four, four centimeters, 40 mil. Um, so yeah, it's a proper, proper big boy. But yeah, the installation went really, really well. Really straightforward, no problems whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I think they're going to do the part. Definitely. Yeah. First thing about carbon ceramics as well, no brake dust. That's it, yeah. So your new wheels are gonna be nice, nice and clean. clean all the time, that's yeah. true. Yeah, 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 that is a, that is a big bonus as Sorry. well. So I'm hoping we've got some testing on the track, I believe this week. So I'm hoping to give these a really good test and see how they go. But I think the longest time actually, out of all this job, or what, what it felt like took the longest was doing the bleeding. Yeah. God, that was such a pain because you've got obviously the outer and the inner circuits to do. And you have to do each caliper like twice because obviously we've got braided lines in there too. So it took a while, didn't it? But yeah. we got there I mean, in the, the end. The amount of fluid that these calipers take as well because of the size of them. Of course, yeah. Um, and we went with the Castrol SFR React Racing, I think it was, wasn't it? But it was the, the top line um, racing stuff. So it, that, that, was, uh, that was perfect. So yeah, let's get the wheels back on and get the car tested. Okay guys, it is done. I have been out and I have tried the car. We uh, did the bedding in process, which Tesla called burnishing, which is where you have to put the center console in a service mode. And then you have to go up to, I think 62 miles an hour and then break to 40, 30 times. That's done. Then I did a few hard brakes to make sure they're working well. And the car said I pulled 1.9 Gs of braking force so that's massive i mean 1.9 g's on standard tires um for road use is huge uh, a usual car will get up to like one maybe 1.2 g's under really hard braking in an emergency situation so to be able to pull almost double that now is great and uh yeah so thank you so much to mitch for doing this for us um no it did take around five six hours for the whole job so it wasn't the quickest job in the world but we got it done and uh, yeah, uh, a massive thanks to Amber Performance, of course, as usual for their great work and always getting everything done for me in time. And they look great. They fit perfectly in the wheels, as you can see. The rears, obviously, these are the 410s, which are the same size that Tesla themselves use. And then, as I say, we went to the much bigger size at the front, which really fills the whole wheel out. And this is a 21 inch wheel and it fills it out completely and uh, looks perfect. And works really, really well. So I'm uh, super excited to get it on track and see how we go on. And yeah, another massive thanks to Mitch here. And Mitch, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Do you do detailing as well, right? Yes, so I've got my own detailing business as well, uh, Sevens Detailing Limited. So once the car's all done, you say you get in the PPF track pack. Yeah, we've got a track pack PPF um, going on it soon. So yeah, once that's done, then uh, I'll come along, we do a paint correction over the whole thing. Okay. Uh, and then put a ceramic coating on it to keep it all protected. Fantastic. Wow, thank you so much, right. Mitch. It's been great dealing with you again today. No worries. We've got another job upcoming, I think, in the next few days, which is the front top camera arms from Unplugged Performance. They're on the way, they haven't arrived quite yet, but a massive thanks to Amber Performance again. I would like you guys to put any comments down below that you need to, and uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.